Good morning, Mr. Polyar. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, thank you for having us all here. Thank you. Uh, you spoke about uh, uh, common sense immigration policy. And uh, on that, I wanted to ask you about uh, motion M44, which was passed in uh, the House of Commons in May 2022, asking the government to uh, create permanent residency pathways for all skill levels for temporary students, uh, temporary foreign workers, including international students. Now, as I see it, this was a complete uh, 180 degree turn from the long-standing immigration approach of uh, attracting highly skilled immigrants. And after that, we have seen the numbers of uh, temporary foreign workers and international students explode. At one point, they were issuing one study permit every 10 and a half seconds. And whatever the expectation was behind this approach, things haven't worked out well. In fact, we have seen disaster on all fronts. So uh, my question is this, as prime minister, will you bring the focus of our immigration policy back to highly skilled immigrants? Thank you. <coughs> Yes, I will. Um, I should say, I, I don't want to, we shouldn't blame the individual students. And we don't, workers. yes, sir, They're we don't. They're actually very good, hardworking people, and they just want the same chance that our, we, we had and that our parents and our grandparents had. When I meet, I meet these kids, uh, and, and they're working nonstop, you know. I show up at a hotel in Sault Ste. Marie at 11 p.m. for the next uh, part of my tour, and I see a young person from India who is there delivering Uber Eats uh, at 11 o'clock at night, and you know they have to be up the next morning to go to school. These are very good, hardworking, decent people. But the system has been, is totally out of control. And so when they arrive, they don't realize they're not gonna have a home. There's no homes for people in Canada. They might not have a job. You know, we're, our unemployment rate is up a full percentage point now over the last year. And we're, are, we're adding, you know, a million people to our workforce every year while we're only adding about 150,000 jobs. And then they're being swindled by consultants who uh, sign them up for fake universities and colleges. So we have to end all this insanity and fraud and get back to the common sense system that, yes, invited workers to fill genuine vacancies that Canadians could not fill, that gave, brought in students to actually learn skills and if they succeeded and learned that English or French could stay here and build a life. And finally, we have to get a blue seal licensing standards yes. so that immigrant professionals can prove they are qualified quickly and get to work in their licensed profession. We did this in the trades back in 1952, 72 years ago. Why don't we do it in the professions? Exactly. We can get those 20,000 immigrant doctors, 32,000 immigrant <coughs> nurses working to relieve the pressure on our healthcare system. Do you agree with that idea? I do. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.